Wash hands. Prepare equipment. Tray. Timer with the second hand. Stethoscope. Pen torch. Gauze or dressing applicator. Wash hands and put on PPE. Find common carotid artery by taking two fingers and running them alongside the outer edge of the trachea. The pulse is felt between the windpipe and the neck muscle, just below the jawbone. Do this for one minute. Find apical pulse, which is pulse point on the chest that gives the most accurate reading of your heart rate. It's located in the fifth intercostal space, about seven to nine centimeters, the width of your palm, to the left of the midline. Use the stethoscope and listen for one minute. Lay your hand on the chest and check there is no respiratory effort for one minute. Then, using a stethoscope, listen for respiratory sounds. Start at the upper left lung field. Then move to upper right lung field. Move to the middle right lung field. Middle left lung field. Then, the lower left lung field. Carry on to the lower right lung field. After that, the middle lobe right lung. Finally, check the bases of both lungs. This should take one minute in total. Now open eyelids and using a pen torch, check for pupil reaction. The eyelids are open together 
The first light sweep in each eye is to look at the singular pupil, and the second sweep of light at each eye is to check the direct and consensual response, with the test repeated on the other side. Open both eyelids and touch corner of corneal with cotton tip, gauze or dressing applicator. A normal response results in an involuntary blink, therefore this should be absent. Do this for 30 seconds. Now use trapezius squeeze by grasping at least 2 inches of the trapezius muscle at the base of the neck between your thumb, index and middle finger. While squeezing the muscle, twist it, which will cause significant pain. Watch the patient's face for a grimace and the hands and arms response for any attempt to remove the stimulus. This will be for a 30 second duration. To avoid inducing a bruise, use a piece of gauze or light clothing when applying the squeeze to minimize any damage. You have now completed the verification of life extinct. Leave the person in a respectful manner, remove PPE, wash hands and fill out documentation.